We each have some daily tasks that we do consistently and we never want to forget them. Uh, this is especially true in an office. And a lot of people don't know it, but Windows has a very special tool which can help you to remember your tasks by opening up a file, either a text file or a media file or even a program can be opened for you automatically at a specific time and uh, according to a specific schedule. For example, uh, I have here a text file that tells me four important things that I need to take care of today. And I want this file to open up at 9 o'clock and then after that I want it to also open up every 30 minutes even if I've closed it so it can reopen itself. The benefit to me is that when that opens it's suddenly going to have focus on my screen. It's going to jump to the front and I'll see this important list of tasks that I need to take care of and I absolutely cannot afford to forget. In order to schedule this, what I'm going to do is click on Start and then go to Control Panel. From your Control Panel, locate Scheduled Tasks and open that up. When that opens up, it looks like a folder and there might be some items that are already in it from your system. Uh, for example, I can see that there's some kind of a Google update that happens automatically. I got real-time player updating itself and something that does with banking. And now I'm going to add my own task. So select Add Scheduled Tasks. Click on Next and don't be alarmed if your computer freezes for a few minutes. That's pretty normal when scheduling a new task. Once you get to this screen here, click on Browse and then uh, paste in the file path to your uh, task. I know that I put my file path, let's see, my task is in this folder so there's my file path and there's my task. I'll highlight that and press enter. I want this task to happen daily so I select daily and I want it to start at 9 o'clock in the morning. You just hold that button down if you want to scroll through your minutes really quickly. Okay, 9 every day and you might notice that I was not given the option to make the task repeat every 30 minutes yet. That's under the advanced options that I'm going to show you in a few moments. Now right here, first it asks me to provide my username. Uh, in the event that a task or uh, a in the event that a task is going to open up a program that requires administrator access, then you would type administrator for the username and then of course provide the administrator passwords. Uh, I'm just going to use my own username on my computer which is Clancy and I do not have a password for my account because I'm stupid uh, but we'll address that in another video. Now let's just click next and uh, if I want I can open up the advanced properties for this but usually what I like to do is just click on finish right away. Okay and so uh, I have my task created. I don't know why it threw that error message. I'll figure that out later. Uh, and now I have my task listed in this list. I can right click on that and then go to properties. From there I can go to schedule and click on advanced to open up the advanced interface and uh, you, I can apply a stop date if I want at which time I believe the task is either disabled or deleted uh, and then of course I can tell this task to repeat every 30 minutes that was my plan 
although I have other options available as well, uh, hours. And I can tell it to continue to repeat until a certain time of day or for a certain duration. Like I can say, uh, let it repeat for up to six hours and then after that I don't want to be bothered anymore. And if the task is still running at this time, then stop it. Or not. Click OK. And then under the Settings tab is uh, an option to stop a task if it runs for a certain amount of time. If you're a person that leaves your computer running all the time, even when you're sleeping, then it's possible you might find some kind of a benefit to actually stopping it after X hours, but for most people, there's no real benefit to auto-stopping a task. And then if you want to get really fancy, you can even schedule the task to only start if a computer has been idle for a certain amount of time, uh, which is uh, a little bit similar to how you can save power by turning off your monitor if you haven't moved your mouse for the last 20 minutes. And the only real benefit I can think of something for this might be, uh, for example, if you have a certain process that you want to occur at a time when you're not using the computer. Like maybe something is uh, really processor intensive and so it would slow you down during your workday and you never want uh, to do this when you're actually using the computer. Uh, you can just use this idle uh, setup and then that task is never going to bother you unless you've already left your computer for however many minutes you decided. Stop the task if the computer ceases to be idle. Look how awesome Windows is. You didn't know it was that cool, did you? And there's a couple other options, but they're not really significant. So we'll just click on Apply. I was just about to end my video, however, um, I took a few moments and I just figured out why it was throwing up that error message earlier, and I don't know why, but for some reason it wanted me to actually run that task, even though it's just a text file with my administrator account, so uh, I typed in administrator in place of my username dropped my super secret password and now this task is set and so at uh, 9 o'clock every day and then following that every 30 minutes this is what happens on my computer it pops open my text message so now I have my four very important things I can't forget However, I'm sure that you can think of even more super cool things to do with scheduled tasks than I did. Uh, one thing that I used to do is uh, I would set up a uh, batch file that would open up a browser window for me in Firefox, which would remind me to download porn. And if you're ever feeling like playing a crazy practical joke on a coworker, then you can record an audio file that says something like, Oh my god, the boss knows what you did. You are so fucking fired. And then, of course, you can have that audio file play at a specific time of the day. Uh, for example, April 1st might be a great time to schedule a couple of tasks to run on somebody else's computer. This is RPG Reseller helping you to be more successful and productive at work and reminding you to download porn. <laughs>